Okay, we're doing a winterizing of our scout light. Not a whole lot to do because there's not a whole lot of water to deal with, but just some of the things we're doing. And uh, this is actually the weekend right after Thanksgiving. So we might get a little late on this, but our plan is to put up all the bedding, clean it all up, sweep real good, kind of get all the camping uh, that we've done all through the year, kind of get all that out of here. That way we have a nice, fresh, clean clamper when we come in in the spring. So right now I've got plugged in, charging the battery. Some people remove their battery, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try doing that this year. We'll see how it works. Got the fan on, just kind of air it out a little bit. Done so far is uh, saw before all the blankets we had, so we've stripped off all our blankets. I'm gonna wash them up, and uh, we've got the we've got a, a memory foam here that just has like a uh, a little cover on it, and uh, we're just gonna, we leave it open like this to let it air out. We've sprayed it with uh, a little free breeze, and same thing with everything in here. Just kind of let that go. We're gonna leave our pillows in here. We're gonna put those in there once that all dries up. Same thing with this side here. Put off all the blankets. Now all of our blankets we're gonna store inside. Probably leave our pillows out here. We'll see how that works this year. Maybe in the future if that doesn't work out well, we might put those indoors. What I also did is I've propped open everything in here. Got the microwave propped open with the door just setting open like this with it cracked open just to let some air through this area here one thing i've done is i pulled out everything food related and everything's either sealed or it's not in here anymore just to keep animals out we did leave most of our kitchen stuff in here but all paper products we tried to pull out um again we we don't we never used to sink but if we did it was the this one's nice because it has that check valve it doesn't have a water that stays in it it just goes straight through so we don't have to worry about flushing anything or antifreeze or anything for that so that works out good for that and then currently i've got the refrigerator i've just got it running right now but i'm going to dry it out and i'll leave this propped open for the winter as well make sure you put some kind of spacer in here to keep that propped open so that's about it for right now we're gonna get let it air out for a little bit and then we're going to uh, put those pillows back down we're gonna leave this thing up for the winter to button it up but I don't think we're gonna put it down we're gonna leave it up um, we also did a good sweep job in here we only swept it lightly swept it all through the season so it needed a good sweeping we used to a good vacuum and swept that that real good and like I say once we get all that pack in there we'll just button it up and another thing we did is uh, we use electric blankets in the winter time so we've taken them down here and we're just airing them out we have a nice 55 degree day in November so we put those out and free breeze those up and we're uh, gonna just fold those back up and put them in a, in a travel bin and leave them inside for the season and then when the spring comes we'll probably get those back out and put them back in depending on how much camping we do in the early spring these are the final final things we did before we button it up got our pills kind of just loosely laying we don't really want them laying real flat so everything kind of airs out real good we use dryer sheets in here put them just kind of sprinkled around everywhere that way those have a nice smell in here we made sure our refrigerator was blocked open and there's no moisture in there leaving our cabinet doors open and uh, I think that's a pretty much it we did add some people use damp rid this is an arm and hammer version here we open that up that should hopefully soak out any moisture that builds up over the winter in here and our season here in Kentucky is not too bad. We uh, we were like at the end of November now. We hope to uh, hopefully be back in this thing maybe as early as uh, maybe the end of March. So not a whole lot. A couple of three four months. We'll have some snow. We'll have a lot of ice and a lot of.
cold wet rain here in the state so that's what we're trying to guard against so if you uh if you're uh doing an a-liner scout it's a really easy to winterize do you want to do those few things and uh got any other suggestions or comments please put put them below this video and we'll see you guys next spring